From Hollywood, it's time now for... Johnny Dollar, boy genius. Oh, look, Johnny, don't blame yourself. We come here to Lagos Island to pick up Tom Chase. So what happens? He circles around behind us, grabs a boat, and takes off. But how could you help it? I should have figured what he was up to. He was all alone here on the island, no way to get off. So we obligingly show up in a boat. He pins us down in the underbrush with a few wild shots while he works his way around to the boat. Well, one thing i got to admit, Lola. Your husband's no dummy. Please, Johnny, I... I'd just as soon not be reminded of Tom's cleverness. Embezzlement, murder, escape. If that's cleverness, I don't want any part of it. How oh, if he'd only turn himself in. Oh, fat chance of that. Maybe if he goes back to Barbados, we can find him there and persuade him. You're overlooking him. one small detail, Lola. Huh? You and I are now in the same spot Tom Chase was. We're alone on this island, and there's no way off. <laughs> Tonight, and every weekday night, Bob Bailey and the transcribed adventures of the man with the action-packed expense account, America's fabulous freelance insurance investigator... Yours truly, Johnny Dollar. From Special Investigator Johnny Dollar, location Lagos Island, three hours by boat from Barbados in the British West Indies. To the Home Office, Universal Adjustment Bureau, Hartford, Connecticut. Assignment, the Phantom Chase matter. Expense account continued. I was getting nowhere. I've been on the trail of Tom Chase ever since he'd embezzled $120,000 from his New York investment firm and jumped bail. First to New Orleans. There, a man named Freddie Quintana had offered to deliver Chase for a price. But Quintana had wound up dead in an alley. Obviously, Tom Chase didn't want to be delivered. I'd finally tracked him to Barbados and found a fisherman who told me he'd brought Chase here to Lagos Island. Chase's wife, Lola, had flown to Barbados and insisted on coming with me to the island, hoping she could convince her husband to turn himself in. But instead, Chase had maneuvered us away from the boat I'd rented and had taken off in it. And now, Lola and I were out in the middle of nowhere. But really nowhere. What are we going to do, Johnny? <sighs> now, that's a good question, Lola. Police Inspector Whitsett back at Barbados told me that nobody comes near Lagos Island anymore, not even fishermen. We may be here quite a while. But we don't even have any food. Well, that abandoned house across the island where your husband was hiding could be this food in it that he brought. Would you do me a favor, Johnny? Yeah, what is it? I just assume you didn't keep calling Tom my husband. He is, isn't he? Legally, yes. When I found out he wasn't traveling alone that it was a woman who arranged his hiding place in New Orleans. I guess I just quit thinking of him as my husband. Oh? How do you think of him now? As a confused animal on the run. He doesn't seem very confused to me. One thing I don't get, though. What's that? Well, that night in Barbados, before you arrived, when Chase slugged me over the head in that waterfront warehouse, why didn't he finish me off then? He had a chance to take me off his trail for keeps. And today, here on the island, those shots of his were plenty wild. Johnny, I keep telling you, Tom is no killer. Law, why don't I you... know, he's an embezzler running away from the law, but I can't believe he killed that man Quintana in New Orleans. Can't believe or won't believe. <sighs> won't believe, I guess. Yeah. Well, I'm going to build a fire here on the beach. It's just possible a boat might pass near enough to the island to see it. It's funny. Hmm? The way things work out. Oh, the timing is always so bad. What do you mean? Oh, you and me here. Under other circumstances, I don't really think I'd mind being here with you at all, Johnny. I, uh... I think I'd better start building that fire. We collected a pile of driftwood and brush and touched a match to it. Then we went across the island to the house where Chase had been hiding out. It was a pretty rickety affair, but he left some food. After we'd eaten, we went back and built the fire higher. Then we waited. The hours dragged by, and I was sure Chase was getting farther and farther from me all the time. But there was nothing I could do about it. Finally, I guess I dozed off. Johnny. Mm. Mm, what, what? what is it? What? Look, coming around the point what? out there. Huh? A boat. Come on. Let's get out where they can see Not us. Not so fast, Lola. What's the matter? That could be the fisherman who brought Chase here. If he's working with Chase, maybe he's coming here to try and finish us off. 
Johnny, do you oh, think... Hey, wait. That's a police boat. Yeah, it's Inspector Whitson. Oh, thank heaven. Come on. Hi, Inspector. Yes, Inspector, yes. Yeah, aside from getting shot at a couple of times. Had a bit of a go, eh? Pretty one-sided go. Oh, Inspector, you're the most beautiful sight we've seen all day. Oh, well, thanks, old man. Uh, when I couldn't raise you by radio, I decided to come and have a look-see. Where's Trace? Who knows? He pinned us down in the underbrush with a few shots while he circled around behind us and took off in the boat. I see. I wonder. What? About halfway here, I saw a boat in the distance. It was too far away for me to see who was in it. Which way was it heading? Back towards Barbados. Then let's get this boat cranked up, Inspector. Maybe we've got a chance after all. I imagine Barbados looks pretty good again to you, too. It certainly does, Inspector. Yeah, until you came along, it looked like we were going to turn out to be Lagos Island's oldest citizens. Here we are. Well, incidentally, Mr. Dollar, do you know a chap named George Everson? Yeah, sure. He's the senior partner of the firm Chase and Bezel the Money from in New York. He's an old friend, Inspector. Why? Well, he dropped in on me just before I shoved off. What? Said he'd wait for you at your hotel. George, here in Barbados? Well, I phoned him earlier, and he said he was going to catch the first plane he could and come down here. But why? Mainly to take you back to New York. Now, Johnny, we've been all over that. Yes, and I still think you ought to... Hey, hold it. What's the matter? That boat on the other side of the pier, tied up there. It's the boat we went to the island in. Yeah, sure. So Chase did come back to Barbados. Good. I'll have the airlines and steamships watched, and I'll get word to the fishing and charter boats. If Chase is there, I think we can keep him bottled up. Inspector Whitsett took off to cover all the bases, and I took Lola back to her hotel. When I got to mine, George Everson was waiting for me. I took him to my room. Any luck on Lagos Island, Mr. Dollar? Oh, yeah. All of it bad. Oh. You're sure it's really Chase you've been trailing? All the way. Freddie Quintana, New Orleans, stole a letter from him, one that he'd started to Lola. It matched the sample of Chase's writing you gave me in New York. And when he grabbed our boat on Lagos Island, Lola got a look at him and recognized him. Uh, how's Lola holding up under all this? Oh, I don't know. She says she's all over being hurt, that when she found out there was another woman involved, it killed her feeling for Chase. I'm not so sure of that, Mr. Dollar. Neither am I. Lola was completely devoted to Tom. She was badly hurt by his embezzlement, and I think she's still being hurt. Well, in any case, I'd feel a lot better if she'd clear out. Well, as you know, I came down here to take her back, but on the way, I started thinking about it. Oh? As long as she is here, perhaps she could be a big help to us. How so? Well, I still think Tom Chase would listen to Lola, even if he wouldn't listen to anyone else. Nobody could change that much. I wouldn't count on that, Mr. Everson. Yeah, well, still, it's worth a try. Now, if it could only work out so that Lola could talk to Tom, or better yet, if Lola and I both could talk to him. Well, what would you say to him? I don't know what Lola would say, but for me, I'd put it to him that his only hope of straightening himself out is to turn himself in and turn over whatever the embezzled money is left. Oh, look, Why, this I, man... I'd even go so far as to guarantee eventual restitution to our investors of whatever amount he's already spent. I don't need to take time. Well, that's pretty generous of you, Mr. Everson, but I'm afraid you're a little too late. Why? In the first place, Tom Chase obviously is not going to turn himself in. He's had plenty of chances to up to now, and he hasn't exactly jumped at them. But if I, I think it's... Well, I think he's got a good reason for not turning himself in. It's better than an even chance he's the one who knocked off Freddie Quintana in New Orleans. The man who offered to turn Tom over to you for a price? That's the one. Oh, no, Mr. Everson. At this point, it looks like there's only one way for me to get Tom Chase... And that's to track him down and drag him in. Expense account, item 27, a dollar twenty American. Cab fare from my hotel to Colonial Police Headquarters. To check with Inspector Whitsett, who, fortunately for me, he was being most cooperative. Trace hasn't contacted any of the airlines or steamship lines. We're in touch with the charter and fishing boat. He hasn't approached any of them, so far as we know. In other words, the chances are good that he's still here in Barbados. That's right. The question is, where? Right again. Take a look at this map, and you'll see our problem. 170 square miles, more or less. Yeah. He could be here in the city or on the sticks somewhere. Or oh, over here in the Mirasol Beach area. Uh, I somehow doubt that, though. Why? Well, it's a pretty fashionable spot. Oh, I imagine Chase would uh, try to be as inconspicuous as possible. Yeah. So he's probably hiding out in the city here. Well, there are scores of hotels and rooming houses. I don't have enough men to... Oh, excuse me. Uh... What's that here? 
Yes. Oh, what's the address? Oh, thanks, old boy. Well, things are looking up, Mr. Dollar. Oh? Yes, a man answering Chase's general description just checked in at a hotel out in the north part of the city. That's the room at the end of the hall, Mr. Dollar. Okay. Let's not be polite, Inspector. Let's use the pass key the clerk gave us and barge right in. Right. Okay. Ah. Empty. How about that closet? Nothing. Windows open and there's a fire escape. Well, he apparently left in a hurry. You see there? There's clothes on the chair. Yeah, that jacket. It looks like the one he was wearing when he swiped my boat on Lagos Island. Did he? We just miss him. Inspector, I've been just missing him for the last ten days, and believe me, I'm getting tired of it. Probably only by a few minutes, too. Sure, just a few minutes, but it might as well be a year. I went back to my hotel. I was beat. Being always one jump behind Tom Chase was getting on my nerves. Sure, he was still in Barbados, but where? At the rate I was going, catching him was turning into a full-time career. A career I was getting fed up with. Then as I entered my room, I heard a slight movement behind me, and I realized all of a sudden that I wasn't alone. Don't turn around, Dollar. Why? Hold it very still. Okay. Look, I can save you some time. If it's my gun you're looking for, it's in a shoulder holster left side. Thanks. You know, I just had a real wild idea. I said don't turn around and keep your hands in sight. Okay. My wild idea is that you're Tom Chase. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Tom Chase. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Why not? Why did you do it? The embezzlement. Was it because of a woman? It was a woman. Was? <laughs> it turned sour. Oh, where is she? That doesn't matter anymore. And where's the money? That doesn't matter either. You won't get it. I see. Next question. Why did you come here to my room, Chase? I've tried every trick I know to shake you, Dollar. None of them's worked. You've kept on coming. I can't stand it anymore. I'm sick of running. Give yourself up, Chase. It's too late for that. No, there's another way. I've got to take you off my trail once and for all. Now, wait a minute. Look. I'm sorry, but that's the way it has to be. Dollar, this is the end of the line for you. <laughs> Here's our star to tell you about the final episode of this story. Tomorrow, the payoff. But who gets paid off, and how, and why? Well, the answers to those questions surprise me plenty, and maybe they will you too. Join us, won't you? Yours truly, Johnny Dollar. Yours truly, Johnny Dollar, starring Bob Bailey, is transcribed in Hollywood. Written by Robert Reif, it is produced and directed by Jack Johnstone. Be sure to join us for the final episode of this story on Yours Truly, Johnny Dollar, Roy Rowan speaking. 